morning and welcome to the Dana Rader Golf School. We're going to hit three shots for you today. We're going to explore the relationship between path and face. So the three shots I'm going to hit for you, a draw, straight shot, and a fake. We're going to see what's happening on each one of those. straight and this is a fit. So I accomplished all three of those. We're going to get a chance to see what happened and how I did that to those three golf shots and you have a better understanding of why the ball curves. Okay, we're going to take a look at those three shots on our flight scope. Um, this is our club head analysis tool that we use, also the ball flight analysis tool that we use here at the school. It's extremely uh, accurate and it does a great job of depicting what the club was doing at impact to produce the shot. So shot number one we talked about was the draw. And we're just going to take a look at that. And basically it started right at the target and then curved back to the left. So um, pretty good shot. Um, let me see the distance on that. 183, um, not bad. Um, we're going to take a look at what was happening to produce that ball flight. So we go in here into the club analysis and there it is, um, shot number one. Uh, pay attention to the face angle on all of these. The face angle is 0.1 left. That's, that's pretty square if you ask me. Um, and then the next one here is point two right and then the last one's point three right. So all three of those shots have a pretty square club face off by point one, point two, three, point three degrees which is um, just a little bit off a of square but pretty much we're gonna go ahead and um, say that it's starting pretty square there. So after that we're going to take a look at why each one of these curved if it wasn't because of the club face. Okay? Um, we're going to take a look at the path. All right? We're going to take a look at this picture. And what's going on here, I'm going to try to zoom in on the main portion of this. That's basically what my club's doing through the impact zone. I can click on this and we can play through it, give you a good understanding of how the shot happened the way it did. And uh, I like to look mainly at this view. I don't want to get too much uh, into the complicated version of this. We're just going to go into the simple version. Okay? If the path of the golf club is traveling right of the club face, you're going to get a curve. Okay? Uh, over here you can see the 9.5 to the right. That's going to cause a curve to the left. All right? And then the next one we're going to take a look at, the simple version and a pretty straight shot. Now the path was off by 2.2 .2 to the right and it did draw just a hair but anything around one or close to zero on the path scale with a face of 0.2 is going to go very very straight and we're not even talking about off center hits here. Uh, we're just going to assume I hit all of those in the sweet spot although um, one of them was off of the toe. I'll, I'll let you guys guess which one but for, for all intensive purposes, we're going to say that uh, 2.2 to the right is not too bad. A very straight shot because the path and the face were close to zero. Okay, we're going to go on to the next sh shot that I hit here, which was a fade. All right, and we're going to take a look at it. And I got my path to go 2.1 left of the target. Okay, my face is 0.3 to the right, which means that it was slightly open. But for all intensive purposes, that's pretty square but it curved off to the right. We're going to take a look at this fade like we took a, a look at the, uh, the draw earlier. It starts pretty much on the target line because the face was square like we said before in the, the previous video. The club face controls the starting direction and then the path makes the ball curve. So when I got my path to go to the left, remember that picture it was left 2.2 .2 degrees, I cut across the ball and created a little bit of spin to the right. And 
we're going to go to the second one, which was the straight ball. I did come in down on that one just a little bit. All right, and so you can see here that path was just inside out 2.2, face to the right. And we go back and we get just a little tiny curve to the left. That's about as straight as I can get it. When the path gets zero and the club face is zero, it goes straight. When the path goes right and the club face is zero, you get a draw. And then the path going left and the club face is zero, you're going to get a fade. So that's the basics of uh, ball flight and the basics of club path. We can go into the advanced version later on, but I hope you enjoyed this and you have a little bit better understanding of uh, ball flight and the path of the golf club.